Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 17, Thoughts. This episode is called Turn, Turn, Turn. Another episode I love. Spoilers for the MCU leading up to and including this episode. No spoilers for anything later in the MCU. The top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAC After Strikers and I implore you to do so. And then there are some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's get into the episode. So, I think Turn, Turn, Turn is part of the lyrics of Don't Fear the Reaper, which is what the episode opens on playing, and I 100% believe that Bill Paxton, both as the, you know, playing both his character in this episode, in the show so far, and you know, the, the actor, R.I.P., you know, would really dig Don't Fear the Reaper. <clears throat> and yeah, he gets attacked. Now, based on the rest of the episode, were those supposed to be... Right, yeah, because we learned that Victoria Hand isn't Hydra. She was one of the few remaining who wasn't and was fighting Hydra. So, which sounds mildly like Fire Hydrant, she was Fire Hydrating the entire episode and before this. And, yeah, the, the, yeah, she was trying to, to stop Hydra by attacking Garrett, not fighting for Hydra. And we learned that May was contacting Fury on the, the secure line. To, you know, she was there to keep an eye on him because of the Tahiti treatment. And, yeah, they talk about, you know, who is Simmons talking to? Because she might be in danger. And, let's see. Yeah, and, yeah, we have Simmons and, and Tripp talking. And he points out she's still a bad liar. She's, you know, yeah. Well, you know, he doesn't say still, but we know still. And she admits, yeah, but I'm getting better. She's a sleeper. I mean, the other kind of sleeper. And, yeah, they, they shoot the... shoot down the drones that were attacking Garrett. Very, very cool scene. And I like the way that you know, it's one of those things, you know, the drones are made to, you know, they're not supposed to be easy to shoot, so Garrett has to line them up. <clears throat> okay, one question. What the hell? It's game over, man. And, yeah, you know, the the out of the shadows into the light. Hydra. You know, very cool reveal. And they start talking about, wait, is it a head you cut off, or is it a limb? Which, you know, I feel like it's... I think they said it's a head. It's a head in the myth. But, yeah. Moving on. And... <clears throat> yeah, Simmons manages to contact Weaver, and they're also being attacked. I quite like the, the you know, we only see little bits and pieces of it, because, you know, they're operating on a TV show budget, but it is clear that, you know, multiple, you know, Hydra was attacking a number of different places. <clears throat> And let's see. So this this first aired April eighth of twenty fourteen, and the movie <coughs> hmm, premiered. Uh, hold on, there we go. So the ah. Uh, hmm. April 4th, so, yeah. 
Captain America: The Winter Soldier premiered April fourth, and the you know both of them are about the yeah Hydra having turned you know reveal being revealed to be the you know inside shield from the from the start. So you know in that one you see like Captain America himself being hunted by Hydra, and you learn about the the their plan to to you know with the with the three new helicarriers and yeah in this you see some other parts of of shield being attacked and i appreciate that it's stuff we have seen before on this show you know so it's the academy it's seemingly garrett the the <clears throat> there's some stuff going on at the hub and it's the team we've been following the the ensemble cast so yeah that's i i quite appreciate that made it feel you know not bigger but it it added texture to the the scope of the film and yeah, so I like the trip, though creepy, is not Hydra. You know, the, the thing, you know, he locks the door, and she's like, what are you doing? Locking the door, like the lady said. And, you know, he goes, and, and yeah, the, the she's like, well, let me out. I want to get out of here. And he, like, scoffs. And it's like, yeah. And then he gets out his knife, and you think, oh, no. And then, you know, he flips it over and hands it to her and is like, if you try to kill me with it, I know you're Hydra. So he's creepy, but he's not Hydra. That's a, a good, yeah. Because he's not a people person, you know. He's a specialist. He's there to, you know, very quickly kill when when that is called for. He's not the best at, at reassuring people. <clears throat> Yeah, and they say Fury is dead, which, you know, places it in the in the timeline. Actually, do S.H.I.E.L.D. know by the end of the movie that Fury is... A... C certainly some do, but were they all Hydra? I, f I forget. Let's see. Yeah, and, you know... May says she was the one who assembled the team. It was, you know, so that she could keep an eye on, you know, yeah. And she explains exactly why each member. And Ward was there in case they needed someone to, to take out Coulson. And, yeah, this is the most emotional that we've seen May so far in the show, which makes it hit so much harder. Like, she really means every word she's saying. She she feels this passionately, you know, and, yeah, she's, you know, Ming-Na Wen is one of those actresses who are capable of saying a lot with a little, but also being convincing when they go, you know. I guess, I don't know if you want to call it going big, but going bigger than otherwise. Yeah, and the you know they don't want to let the tech, tech fall into the hands of Hydra, so they scrub, and so apparently the thing that Fury uses in the the film was called a mouse hole, the the you know to to cut through, and let's see, then there was the. Right, I, I like that, you know, they were hiding under the, you know, in order to not be caught by the, the surgical strike team, they were hiding under the, <clears throat> the grating, which I feel like has to be a reference to aliens. And, right, I like that when Victoria Hand confronts Trip and Gemma, you know, where usually the S.H.I.E.L.D. logo is this kind of light blue, not quite teal. 
now because of the the red on the on the computers behind her now it looks like you know it's it's kind of reddish very very cool and apparently that whole thing was a test she you know she wanted to see if they would join hydra or refuse and yeah i mean i guess it's good that trip only threatened and didn't actually kill one of them because then it'd be a bit I, I guess it's a reasonable enough assumption that he's not going to that he's going to threaten but not quite kill and yeah AC May and the others get in by posing as prisoners the old Chewbacca gambit and the <laughs> I like the you know do you need medical attention? No, just your sidearm. And yeah, Ward, you know, wants to protect Sky from Hydra, and you know, Sky says, "Of course she knew about Ward and May." And you know, she makes it clear, you know, if they have a drink together, you know, they can they can talk but she's not offering sex and they do kiss which I'm sure you know I haven't seen for myself but I'm sure there were a lot of shippers who were quite happy at that and it does feel like natural like over time she warmed up to him um, yeah very cool action scene when he yet again dual wheels icers and he's you know Ultimately, they do manage to overpower him, but then he gets his hand on the knife, and then, with ease, apparently, takes out, like, a dozen guys within, just, yeah, very cool. You know, very, very quickly and without getting overpowered himself. And John Garrett lets slip that he knew that Reyna went into the machine, even though AC never told anyone, it didn't go into the report or anything, and Garrett got there afterwards, not in time to hear it from her own lips. Hail Hydra. And, yeah, Ward, you know, the, the explosion is only partially done, and Ward is like, I thought it'd be bigger, which... I thought it was Sky's line. And yeah, excellent fight with the with and and the strobe lights were an inspired choice as you know the others yeah Colson May and and yeah fight the let's see Yeah, and they are able to, to stop the, the Hydra people. Not a fan of the fact that Trip, the only black man present, is also the only person seen to shout at John Garrett. You know, I get it. It's, you know, personal and this whole thing, but AC trusted him as well. He, you don't see him shouting. It feeds into the negative stereotype that black people are inherently more passionate as struggle to control themselves, which, you know, that's a stereotype that dates back to slavery. It was a way to get people to not empathize with the slaves. And, let's see, you know, and let's, I mean, the, the, our team of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents very white, like, you know, ming -A Wen is, you know, provides some Asian representation, Chloe Bennett is half Asian, but then you have four white people, three of whom are men, you know. Yeah, on, on gender representation, it it's even, but at least one, you could easily have made at least one of them black or Latinx or something. or, you know, Middle Eastern, or middle, yeah, Middle Eastern, Indian, something. 
and yeah, you know, Ward, yeah, Victoria, I, I quite like Victoria's line, you know, maybe it's too comfortable for you. Maybe we should put you a little deeper, you know, six feet deeper. Ward, you shot the wrong man before. How do you feel about shooting the right one this time? And, you know, he gets out his gun, and he shoots the two guards, and then Victoria. So he is Hydra, and John Garrett is free again. And we close the episode on the Hydra logo. So now we know what he meant with, you know, he said earlier, there's so much compart com yeah, compartmentalization because he was, you know, he was also a sleeper in, in one of the two ways that May was. Now, the, let's see. Um, yeah, so according to IMDb trivia for this episode, uh, yeah, the episode takes place during the events of Captain America the Winter Soldier. Agent Garrett says he isn't a true believer. Stanley often referred to Marvel fans as true believers. R.I.P. Legend. And let's see. Oh, right. The thing with, you know, Garrett says, isn't it a limb that's cut off? In the comics, it's a limb. In the movies, it's a head. The creators did not tell Brett Dalton that Ward was going to be a Hydra agent until right before they filmed Turn, Turn, Turn. He was the first cast member to learn about Ward's duplicity. Now... <laughs> Many fans responded to Ward badly after his character was revealed to be a double agent. However, there is a large fan base on social media called Ward's Warriors who openly support the character on a potential redemption arc for him. I'm really relieved that they're not saying he did nothing wrong, but they want a redemption arc. They often trend hashtags like hashtag stand with Ward during episodes. And I think think that is all that I have to say. Yeah, this was a really, really cool, you know, conclusion to the, the, yeah, you know, there was the, the, ah, what's it called? The cliffhanger that last episode ended on. And... Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it is. Th this is a very, um, what's the word? I knew before I started watching the show that eventually S.H.I.E.L.D. was going to be revealed to be Hydra. I'm not 100% certain what they're going to do after this episode. Um, the movie really makes it seem like Hydra, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., is shut down completely. I'm slightly torn. This was so this was episode seven seventeen. So before this there were Yeah, and the the this was a two parter basically. So there were fifteen episodes before this two parter where we didn't know that Hydra was back. And the, the you know, we, we would encounter Centipede every so often, which is, of course, you know, a, a Centipede and a Hydra, you know, there's a certain resemblance there. And, yeah, you know, this episode pretty much says that, that Centipede was a cover for Hydra, since they have all the... Yeah. You know, whoever the clairvoyant was, he had shield. You know, he had a high level shield clearance. The, the, I, yeah, I guess it is John. Huh. Must have been, must have been John Garrett, who was the, who really was the clairvoyant. So many twists this episode. But yeah, that, that Victoria certainly believes it by the end of the episode. Yeah. You know, he must have been the clairvoyant. He's Hydra, 
Centipede was, you know, taking orders from the Clairvoyant, so they are Hydra. So I appreciate that it the twist hits harder than if this was like episode one. But on the other hand, the I, I do I hope that the show from now on is more focused. That was one of my biggest issues with the the show until now. You know, they, they hadn't really had a clear unifying villain. And I mean, there's, you know, the Clairvoyant and Ward are still out there. So Hydra isn't completely gone, but I don't know if Hydra is really going to be the villain now that they don't have S.H.I.E.L.D.'s resources anymore. Yeah, um, I, I really don't know what they're going to do next with this show. And, you know, it's not a spoiler to say there's, you know, there are seven seasons total, so it's not just going to be a couple of episodes and then, you know, the show ends. So, yeah, I I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to see how I feel about future episodes based on this. Um... I will say the you know back when <clears throat> back when the movie came out I knew this show existed but I didn't have you know I wasn't watching TV I didn't have any channels any any plan or any channels so I kind of assumed at the time I guess that show is just going to quickly quietly end but yeah 7 seasons total so there's you know, we're near the end of season one, but there's six seasons left. I have no idea what they're going to do. I I don't know if they knew that they were... Yeah, because they said that they knew... Apparently, they planned from the start for Ward to be a, a double agent, so they must have had some idea that they were going to do the Hydra twist. Yeah, I, I don't know. It just it feels... You know, I've seen other shows that do a, a big, like, you know, Prison Break changes identity in season two, but it's in a way where it's like, you know, the, the, we were kind of, it's a, it's a very, Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to keep this going for another six seasons. And I hear it only gets better for now, so I'm not, like, implying that they're just going to be running on fumes or something. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'll grant that Alias had some big shakeups, but... Yeah, um, I, I really don't know how they're going to do... The, you know, it's the kind of thing, like, I get why... It wasn't, but it feels like an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show would have made so much more sense if they had started, like, right after the success of Iron Man, you know, but the, the, yeah. Actually, yeah, I read that in 2009 was when they started trying to think of some MCU TV show, which I realize is... A contradiction in terms since the C stands for cinematic but yeah yeah I I feel like it would have made more sense to to have it and then like this be like the last season and you see them like fighting to to take care of the the remaining hydro people and then the show ends I I really don't know how it's going to keep going but I'm excited I'm not like you know I, yeah, I'm very, very curious how they are going to, um, I, th I think I heard that some people felt that, let's see, was this the one where there's like a Screen Rant article, um, let's see, Agents of... Shield, um, Winter Soldier. 
Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing it. I I thought I heard some. Yeah, because the IMDb trivia makes it sound like a ton of people watched it. So it's yeah. Um, Yeah, I think I am. Yeah, I've I've said everything that I wanted to. Oh, right, right. A, a couple of yeah. Um, there's some really great quotes in the IMDb quotes section. The the you know no John, this is you being a psychopath, and the. You know, skies, and you haven't told me how to hold up under torture yet. We'll get to that. It's real fun. We'll fly in there, face the music, even if it is the Hydra theme song. And, you know, when Garrett offers fits, you know, yeah, you could volunteer and have a very high rank. If not, no rank, a lot of pain. Either way, your services will be required. And Fitz says you're going to suffer for what you've done, and I, I plan on being a very big part of that. Yeah, and they have the whole um, the whole exchange between May and AC about Fury and Tahiti, and let's see. And yeah, the thing with you know Sky revealing the bomb, who said anything about hacking, which is also great because like we're used to her hacking, but yeah, they don't need to hack; they just need to disable. You know, it's not like she's going in there for information. Then you'd need to hack. It's enough to just blow up the yeah. And. Um, I think that might be right. Uh, I thought they did a really good job. Like, I kept waiting for Victoria to say "Hail Hydra," and then you get the reveal that you know. Then then she does the test with Simmons and triplet and it's like oh right cuz she never she never said hail hydra she never said in the name of hydra we're doing this so so yeah all along she was one of the shield faithful and the you know so there's the the bit where um let's see yeah agent shaw says i'm having a hard time killing the people we once called friends Victoria Hand says, once that encoded transmission went out, everything changed. We swore allegiance to each other today that loyalty will be tested if you waver, you die. We think, she's saying, you know, we received the transmission and that means we're, you know, mask off Hydra now. What she's saying is, we know that there are Hydra out there. We have to kill Hydra, you know, just, yeah, that is a great, right. And I like Victoria putting out, He's not telling stories now, is he? <laughs> and yeah, um, I am. I am very, very fascinated to know where it goes next because I was trying to not look at like air dates for episodes too much because you know I knew that sooner or later it would do this twist to fit with the movie I really thought it would be way earlier in season one you know but yeah um, and it's also it's not quite like the finale because there's let's see I'm guessing like 22 episodes in season one let's see yeah 22 episodes so What's that? Six episodes more? Five. Five episodes more. 
Yeah. Ooh, and this is one of the top rated episodes. Very cool. And I 100% I agree. It's, it's really, really excellent. Yeah. Um, that is it for this video. Uh, yeah, next video will be tomorrow. And until then, the, the, yeah. Ah, uh, crap. I'm struggling to think of a good closing line. Um, let's see. I too would like a redemption arc for Ward.